and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Jenny English. In tonight's news, the Department of Commerce and Insurance is warning about a genetic testing scam. National gas prices seem to be stabilizing. Unity Medical Center in Manchester is receiving praise from several Nashville hospitals for their work in emergency cardiac care. Post offices across the country will be collecting food for the needy this Saturday, and the annual horseplay luncheon is scheduled for this Friday. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC in Winchester. Select GMC Sierras up to $10,000 off original MSRP. That's Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC on the bypass in Winchester, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. The Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance is joining other state and national regulators to warn consumers about reports of people claiming to represent genetic testing firms who are visiting senior living communities, assisted living facilities, and senior centers to swab seniors' cheeks purportedly to collect genetic material in order to screen for cancer or other life-threatening diseases. Instead, these people are reportedly acquiring consumer-sensitive personal information under the guise of DNA testing and should be avoided. The scam's victims are sometimes under the impression that the cost of testing would be covered by Medicare. If a non-cancer patient is brought in for genetic testing under the pretense that it would be covered by Medicare, this may be a scam. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have set forth guidelines as to when Medicare will allow and pay for these services. CMS has determined that next generation sequencing, or NGS, as a diagnostic laboratory test when performed in an appropriate and an approved and certified laboratory and when ordered by a treating physician is allowed when all CMS requirements have been met. If you or a loved one is approached by someone claiming to offer genetic testing, remember, never give your personal information like your Medicare or Social Security information to someone you do not know. Don't sign any papers unless you ask questions first and talk about it with your family and be skeptical. If it sounds like too, uh, good, a uh, deal that is too good to be true, it probably is. With the national gas price average at $2.89, just a penny more expensive than last week, the majority of states are seeing moderate jumps or even declines at the pump. 27 states now, ga now saw gas prices decrease or hold steady on the week, with Delaware at minus four cents, Kentucky at minus three cents, and North Carolina at minus c at three cents, seeing the largest declines. Jeanette Casalano, AAA spokesperson, said, while gasoline demand remains robust, robust, gasoline inventories increased for the first time since early February, which was a surprise and contributed toward the national average only increasing by a penny. Today's average is just eight cents cheaper than the highest pump price of 2018, which was set going into Memorial Day. Today, today's average is 16 cents more than last month and eight cents more expensive than this time last year. The staff at Unity Medical Center in Manchester is receiving praise from Nashville area hospitals for its speedy and efficient diagnosis of patients entering the Manchester Hospital with a STEMI heart attack. A STEMI or ST elevation myocardial infarction is caused by a sudden complete 100% blockage of a coronary artery. Partnering with TriStar Centennial Hospital in Nashville, Unity Medical Center receives feedback on the time it takes for the Unity Emergency Department to perform an electrocardiogram on the patient, how long before a code STEMI is called, the time for transport, and the total time before a balloon is used to open the patient's blockage. The internal goal for Unity to perform these essential measures and have the blockage open is under 120 minutes. However, that time is often bested thanks to the efficiency of the Unity Medical Center 
emergency department. Pictured is a group of medical professionals at Unity Medical Center that were, that were integral in identifying a recent heart attack and having the patient transported under the 120 minute goal window of the hospital. Pictured are from the left, Clara Margaret Capps, RN, Dr. Louis Portilla, Janet Shelton, RN, Cappy Jones, RN, and Paula Clem, RN. Tennessee wildlife officials are warning anglers about bogus websites that appear to sell fishing license but don't actually sell legal licenses. The Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency says it recently discovered two such websites. The two websites are fishinglicense-usa.com and fishinglicense.org. According to the TWRA, the websites will take your money, but you will not end up with a legal fishing license. To purchase a valid Tennessee fishing license online, go to gooutdoorstennessee.com. Stay with us for more news right after this. Talking history about this and that. It's conversations with John and Pat. With John and Pat. With John and Pat. Hello everyone, I'm John Rickman. And this is Pat Welch and we're here for an endorsement for the Conversations with John and Pat Marathon. And I'm management. <laughs> and management is proud to announce after 100 segments plus one encore of the conversations with John and Pat, we have decided to do a marathon on Memorial Day weekend starting at 4 o'clock Sunday the 27th and running through 6 o'clock on Monday the 28th and guys we wouldn't be able to do this without some generous folks out there in our community who have agreed to sponsor this. How about telling us who the sponsors are? Weikert Realtors, Joe Orr and Associates, my friends. Builder Supply Company, where I first started. Stan McNabb, automobile dealerships out on the Manchester and the Shelbyville Highway. Lester Green, McCord, and Toma. Insurance. And Smart Bank of Tullahoma on North Jackson Street, where I bank. And Clayton Shoe Store with Miss Florence Hall. Where everybody buys their shoes. That's right. <laughs> and you can get your foot measured. You get your foot <laughs> measured there. And I tell you what, folks, management is very, very excited to be able to do this. These guys have done a great job over the past couple of years sharing not just Telahoma history, but history of our whole region around here. And it's important to all of us that we learn and understand and appreciate that. So folks, don't you forget Memorial Day weekend on Sunday the 27th, starting at four, going till Monday the 28th, ending at six. It's Conversations with John and Pat marathon can we ask one question what's that is it going to be back to back solid with just solid and, and our fine sponsor solid baby solid wow. watch out andy griffith here they come <laughs> Welcome back to Tullahoma Post Office. We'll join mail carriers across the nation Saturday in collecting food for the needy. John Gray spoke with two local postal workers about the event. Glad to have my buddy Cindy Kenny here with us today. And when she's around, we're <laughs> always talking about doing good things for other people. And this weekend, uh, May the 11th, is the Postal Carrier's Food Drive. And that's why the two of you are here. And so give us a little information about that. Uh, as John said, this Saturday, May 11th, um, the second Saturday uh, of the month, is the uh, National Association of Letter Carriers Food Drive. And this doesn't under this just doesn't happen here in Tullahoma. It happens nationwide. Right? It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, the only requirement is is to hang a bag of food on your mailbox, mm -hmm. non-perishable food, and when the letter car carriers come to deliver mail, uh, they'll put mail in your box and take the bag of food, yeah. and then they they bring it back uh, to us. And then uh, Saturday afternoon, we'll be gathering uh, at the First Presbyterian Church. 
Uh, we will be sorting out the food, and then the food goes to four local food pantries. Okay. Yeah. And the post office has been in, involved with this for how many years? I think this is year 26 that we've done it nationally. Mm -hmm. This will be my this will be my 21st year right, of doing it. Right. Um, off the top of my head, I believe last year we we raised 71 million pounds of food mm -hmm. nationwide. 71 million pounds. 71 of million. Food. Which is which is amazing. I think it's incredible, and and you know, as I was as I was talking to you earlier, and and before, you know, it's real simple. Look in your pantry. I'll guarantee you, there's something in your pantry that you haven't used. You don't even know how it got there. Maybe <laughs> true. And but it's a, it's a canned good or it's mm -hmm. a jarred good, and it's 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 uh, non-perishable, and. Get it out of there where you can put another can of pinto beans in there. Yes. I mean, but don't just don't just give your bad stuff away. Give a little good stuff. Right. Right. Of course, it's not a it, it's not bad stuff, or it wouldn't be in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. You know, some people like this. Some people like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's real simple to get something and get a plastic bag, hang it on your little, raise your little flag up and mm -hmm. hang it on that, and the postal carriers will pick it up. It's the easiest way in the world to donate to somebody else's benefit. It is. Absolutely. Whether you bought it in excess for a party or you bought it and you thought at the, at, at the time it was a good idea and then right. you get home and you're like, we're not going to eat this. <laughs> Everybody can use that, whether it's you know financial stuff, whether you got weather, sure. tor floods, tornadoes, there's always a reason for people to have food. Mm -hmm. And the weather in May, haven't done enough of these, we've had Weather, uh, the weather's kind of transitional in May. Right. You can get, we've had cold food drives, we've had warm food drives where I picked up food and I thought it was going to be cooked when I picked it up. Right. Uh, keep it high and dry if you can. Right. We'll take it off the ground. We prefer if you can put it up. Right. We'll get it. Plastic bags if it's raining. Mm -hmm. Maybe not paper, but we'll take anything we can get from anybody we can get. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, many, how many carriers do you have now? At our office At specifically? At your office, yeah. We have uh, eight city carriers. We have three uh, part-time. A lot of times we're working all at the same time, and I believe right. 16, 17 rural. So we're up around 40. We're in the 40 to 45 range. Wow. And that's a that's a that's a great employment. Sure. For our town, and I just want to thank both of you for thank your you. commitment yeah. and your service. Thank you. And we appreciate it very much. Hang something on your mailbox. Yeah, High and dry. Please. <laughs> High and dry. High and dry. <laughs> And we'll be right back with more news later on 6. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Jim spoke earlier this week with organizers of a fundraiser to help a Tullahoma man who recently had a double lung transplant. Pleased to have joining us on the set now, Edith Harris. And Edith is from Moore County, Tennessee. And Edith is here today because uh, she wants to, she's trying to help somebody that needs some help. And uh, Edith, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your event is. You've got an event coming up, I think, do you? Yeah, we have a benefit and a singing for the Hodge family on May the 11th at the Lynchburg Elementary School in Lynchburg. Um, the Coleman March Ensemble and the Cavalier Quartet will be singing at 6. The doors will open at 5. This benefit will be for 100% proceeds will go to the Hodge family, James and Kena. James had a double lung transplant on May, uh, March the 25th. Mm -hmm. He had idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis before his transplant. So he is still in the hospital but is being weaned daily off of uh, machines and things like that and he was taken off the ventilator on a Sunday 
mm -hmm. and they're going to put a different trach in and then he will be sent to uh, Stallworth for rehab. Okay, now the, uh, the, the Hodge family is from Tullahoma, correct? Correct, okay. yes. How did, you, how did you come to know the uh, Hodge family? Uh, Keen and I worked together at the Tennessee Correction Academy. I see. Yeah, and uh, then um, her husband James and then my husband Wayne and Keena and I would go to D.W. Wilson and work out and everything. So we're uh -huh. just really good friends and stuff. Is this something that came up just uh, kind of suddenly or has James had this issue for a while? Well, he started having uh, bad lung infections in 2015 mm -hmm. and then they just did a bunch of tests and everything and then sent him on up to a pulmonologist. Well, then they did the testing and everything on that and then he was diagnosed with the ideal pul idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Mm -hmm. That's hard to say three it, times. It kind of is, yeah. And uh, then he was placed on the UNOS list, which is United National Organ Sharing mm -hmm. list. And uh, he was placed on that on March the 14th of 2019, and he received his lungs on March the 25th. That's that's uh, incredibly yeah. lucky, it, it's very lucky, fast, I guess you'd say. Very fast moving, yeah. So I, I'm guessing that double lung transplant is is very serious I would think. Is yeah it? and he's had some issues with coming out of the anesthesia he was real sensitive to the anesthesia and stuff like that so that set him back it was about a week before he would could respond you know from all the medications and That's stuff right. and then he had to be put on a ECMO machine which is basically an external lung like a a life support system basically mm -hmm. but yeah he, he ate his first meal last week in a month mm -hmm. by mouth so yeah he's so he's, he's been hospitalized since when march 25th okay they got the call on march 24th on a sunday night and they went the 25th and he's been there since so, so. obviously he, he still has a ways to go yes before he recovers how much longer do you think he'll be uh, hospitalized he will probably be in um he, they are expecting to get a step down this week from where he is now in the hospital and then possibly be in that area for two to three days and then hopefully he will go to Stallworth Rehab. I see. And that's where he'll stay for extensive uh, therapy and being able to monitor him and everything like that. Okay, so he's going to be in rehab for a while Yeah. as yeah. well. Right he there. will probably have therapy six days a week. I see. Okay. Yeah. This, this is something I'm sure it's very difficult, not only just James, but his family as well. Yeah, Kina, she has taken off from work, and she has been there with him from day one, you know. So, yeah. Now, now this event that you have planned to to raise money, uh, sounds like it's going to be an enjoyable and fun event as oh, I well. I so. Coleman March has been on this show a number oh, of times, yeah. so we're, we're kind of familiar yeah. with him. Yeah, he's and, a uh, trip. Is this a gospel thing that it, they're doing? It, well, right? the two groups that I do have are gospel, yeah. Okay. And uh, then we have a silent auction, we have rifle items, we have uh, concessions available, baked goods, you know, so we have a little bit of everything that night. So Okay, and that's coming up on, tell us the date again. May the 11th. Okay. The doors open at 5 and the singing will start at 6. Okay. We'll be right back with more news later. My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party, but things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her. And now she's back doing the things she loves, and that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. Can you imagine a world without beauty, without color, without creativity, without art? Well, neither can we. Keep Arts Alive and experience all kinds of arts and crafts at the second annual Arts Alive Telehoma on the newly renovated lawn of the South Jackson Civic Center, May 25th and 26th. For details, visit TelahomaArtsCouncil.com and come spend the day at our fun, family-friendly Arts Festival. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC in Winchester. Select Silverados will receive supplier pricing and $6,500 in rebates only at Russell Barnett Chevrolet GMC on the bypass in Winchester, home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. And remember, why buy anywhere else? Welcome back. If you're in the mood for some great home-cooked food, you need to check out the Horseplay Luncheon tomorrow at the First Methodist Church in Tullahoma. With me on the set, uh, Loretta Christian 
and next to her is Amanda Duke, and they're with the Horseplay Incorporated, and they're fixing to have this huge luncheon Friday. Yes, ma'am. This week, like two or three the, days. On the 10th. And they're on the 10th, and there's so many things going on, and uh, I, I was just going to show you this t-shirt. They have put all the sponsors, which a wonderful group of people that are helping to sponsor the dinner or the lunch. And uh, tell us when it starts. Carryout starts at 10.30 on Friday morning, and lunch eat-in starts at 11 and goes until 1.30. Now we're going to put on the screen the phone number to call or the website to go to so that you can call if you want to make a reservation for the lunches to pick up, right? They can call in to tell us what they want on their carryout plates. Okay. And and uh, there it is. So write that down right now, and, and uh, you'll get all the information that you can possibly need. One thing I wanted to say was, if you want to uh, treat all your friends to lunch for hundred dollars, you can get twelve tickets, and it's ten dollars a piece. Otherwise, mm -hmm. that's a nice deal. It's a good deal. It's a great deal. Amanda, what's your yeah. position here? I am the volunteer coordinator, and I manage the barn. That's a big job. Managing yes. the barn yes. that is a wonderful job. I, I think we need to focus on uh, the auction for a moment. Okay. Uh, this is happening during the luncheon, so this beautiful quilt yes. is one of the auction items, and it's several colors, and I think the auction is going to start at 75 about. I believe 75 uh, this was is what it's going to start at. queen size, correct? It's 82 by 82. And uh, it's huge. It's reversible on the back side. It's beautiful. And it's a more solid on the back side with a, a print. But then, then you can turn it over. I, I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Who did this? Uh, Terry Sad, uh, Sadler. And uh, she's from Parsville, Tennessee. She works as a... And so she just donated this. Yes, She's probably worked on this all year. She started back in March. In March. Other than this quilt, we have uh, five days in Orlando, Florida. Five days in Orlando. For it, July is the 6th. Disney, Disney World? Yes. It's very I mean, near there Disney you can World. See the whole thing. July mm -hmm. the 6th to the 11th. And that was donated by Dr. Freeman and his wife, Patsy. They're very generous people, and I know they love the horse play and what horse play does. We always need donations of pies and cakes for our luncheon, and they can be brought over to the uh, fellowship hall at the First United Methodist Church on uh, Friday morning. So does, is this like a buffet or to... Yes, ma'am. get served. Yeah, it's you a have buffet. to go buffet. You we don't tell me some things on the buffet. Ooh, we have <laughs> smoked turkey. Smoked, oh my gosh! Smoked turkey breast, smoked ham, or and uh, we have dressing, green beans, mac and cheese, cream potatoes, uh, cream sweet potatoes, corn on the cob. There's a salad. You get your dessert and your beverage. If from time to time you have questions about tax issues, this video from the IRS will explain how you can get some help. Do you have tax questions and think you need help from an IRS employee? Before you travel to a taxpayer assistance center, you should know that you'll need to make an appointment. You should also know that there may be a more convenient option for tax help. Always begin by looking for answers at irs.gov help. Many of our services are available on our website 24 hours a day, seven days a week. These include things such as filing a return, getting a tax transcript, making a payment, and checking the status of your tax account. You can also use the interactive tax assistant on irs.gov slash ITA to get answers to many of your questions. If you can't find answers to your questions online, then it may be best to seek face-to-face -face help. Call 844 545-5640 to speak to an IRS representative who can help you schedule an appointment at the Taxpayer Assistance Center that is most convenient to where you live. It's important that you plan ahead and make an appointment before you go. On the day of your appointment, you should show up at least 15 minutes early for check-in. 
Remember to bring a valid photo ID, such as a driver's license and your taxpayer identification number. For most taxpayers, it's their Social Security number. Please note, if you want to drop off a non-cash payment or a current year tax return, or even pick up a tax form at a Taxpayer Assistance Center, you can still do that without an appointment. Learn more about making an appointment at irs.gov slash local contacts. Stay tuned for your local weather forecast right after this. Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Ford in Winchester. Check out the 2018 Ford Taurus, yours today for $26,992. That's Russell Barnett Ford on 41A in Winchester, home of the lifetime firetrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? Keith Barnett here at Russell Barnett Ford of Winchester. Check out the 2018 Ford F-150 as low as $34,739. That's Russell Barnett Ford on 41A in Winchester, home of the lifetime firetrain warranty. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1963 at 87 degrees. The record low was in 1928 at 31 degrees. Average high on this day is 76 and the average low is 53. Storms are in the forecast for tonight with a low of 62. Cloudy weather expected on Friday with a high of 75 and a low of 59. And thunderstorms in the forecast for Saturday with a high of 71 and a low of 61. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Good night.